Or will it be something different? Only one way to find out. Oh my god, no way! Finally, um, you at the Hyatt Regency, the big uh, H, I can't point out, I'll have to go to the second floor to show you, but you kind of get the gist. We're here, we've made it to Hyatt, um, of course pre-register has opened hours before we did. The next line of strategy to do now is, um, I guess I'll take the long way. Man. We'll get our rooms, grab the cart, and head into our floor. Question B, though. Hi there. Hi! Hello, everyone! Well, question B this year on whether or not we wind up in this area near the main hall, or if we wind up where the, uh, the riding, gaming, and electronic room is. Some stuff happens so it's unpredictable what the results will be but make the most of what we have okay. um, i think they might have moved the three red to down here normally it was like up there but must have uh, changed things Hello, Bert. Nice to see you again. Nice. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. You don't you remember me? Sadly, no. Oh. Um. I'm a. Um. Uh, I was your lawyer. My lawyer. Yes. Better call Gab. I'm Gabby Shug. You were. Not, uh, I was dressed up as Rainbow Dash last year. We waited in line. Oh yes. Oh, nice to meet you, you my friend. You. Nice to meet you. Okay, for the con. I'm all set, and I have something special for this year. Oh. Yep. Can bring out the party cannon. All cosplay. Oh hell yes. Now try to aim it for all weekend, for the weekend. I'm excited to see that. Anyways, see you around, buddy. See oh, ya. Bye. Got the key to the hotel room. For 11, room of 7. Oh boy. Yeah, and it's what I thought. Wind up in uh, this wing of the hotel instead of near the main hall. Well, 
It was kind of sort of bound to happen at one point. Different room, but at least it's not like Double Tree where it's like. What's it? <laughs> God, it's right with the Double Tree rooms. It was like they kept pushing us farther and farther and farther back in the rooms we stayed in, which that felt like super irritating. So that was fun to deal with. It says. is that? It looks like they closed off the rest of the the uh, venue where the main room is and the rest of the world. What could have happened? What made them like I don't know it it just looks weird, like, this is big black um, curtain blocking this. Hmm. Thought. No, I just said. So, like, where that gap is, that's the entrance slash exits to the... Yo! Hey, Nora! I got distracted by that curtain over there. Yeah, I know my brain's the size of a freaking peanut. I'll be down there in a moment. Hey! Yo. Been too long. <laughs> yep. Well, <laughs> I know what you're wondering. Oh, Nora's here. No, he's not here. Actually, no, I wasn't thinking that. But, good guess. Some people have. But, no, he's not here. He's in LA right now. So. Yeah, because it's like, as soon as I heard that Simon Call impression, I'm like, oh, he's back on America's Got Talent. I can give you more info about that, so... Yeah, I guess, like... There's this group of puppets, I guess, that they have for America's Got Talent. One of the judges winds up um, hitting the buzzer. Yeah, that was Sophia. And let me say this. He told me about like, oh, no, Nora, you're going to hate this. Sophia Vergara, who is like a pair because, you know, Latina, she's Latina. It's like, she gave me the buzzer. And I'm like, no. And then she's like, oh, no. He was like, oh, it's fine, Nora. It's cool. She reminds me a lot of you. I'm like, in what way? Very hot-headed, but really cool. I'm like, oh. That's really sweet of you. Also, she <laughs> thinks of me as feisty, which usually I would find that, but I'm okay with that. I'm just literally no clue about it. I got nothing going on. Thursday in a nutshell. Yeah, I thought it'd be more people, but I guess, you know, it's a bit early. Or they may have arrived earlier, but you, still, you don't see well, them. I did see Red Card and Taylor earlier. Where they go? I don't know. I lost them. <laughs> Thought those were the elevators for a moment. So it's floor room room seven. Oh, oh. Is it's all right, man. Let's see. There we go. Excited for a convention? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, sometimes I can't even tell if like, it's actually recognizing the room key or not. I don't know how this digital age stuff goes. I'm a caveman. Anyways, let's see. Eleven four, room seven. 
Hmm. Seems to be fancy. Yeah, I like the lights, the walls, the um. So I'm actually pretty cool. Good. So there is a difference. And this is our view right here. Not as lavish as the other side, but at least it's something. And variety down there. There's a Wendy's. Yeah, so anytime I come up in this room and I think of something for a meal. I'll immediately think Wendy's when looking out this window. But I guess that's our view of the hotel of our room here. Definitely like the decor in this place a lot better than last year. A lot more fancy than the other wing. I think maybe like, just maybe this is one of those rooms that was renovated or something like that. So, for all I know, like, this place is renovated, but they may do the same thing later for that. Yeah, who's to say? So, for the moment being, I'll just kick back, relax, figure out how to hook up the Roku to this TV here, because... Hotel room TVs are fun to mess with, and kind of kill time. Well, it took a while, but I finally got the Roku set. But one extra problem. I thought simply, like with the Chromecast, I could just take its power supply here and use it on the Roku. It tells me that's not enough power. So I hook a USB with a power adapter, that doesn't work, but straight USB into this, that works, 100%. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But then again, in the last room, I think there was an actual plug right here that I used. And this TV was actually sitting on a base, not hanging in air. But, whatever. Roku's hooked up, and we can watch, at least if the parents want to, or buy one to. Could just plug this in, watch Netflix, watch Amazon, or Disney Plus, or whatever. But the only other problem is I need to replace the batteries. Somehow down at 40%. I'd say for now we're gonna just hang here for a bit and I'll explore more of the venue. As if I need to remember this place a hundred times, but it's helpful. So I found out the mystery on why these were out. Another conference was happening, or wedding or something, I don't know. But. My best bet is maybe Register Lion will come back here or something. I don't know. But seeing those like tables and chairs out, there must have been something special that happened. Something so special, they had to hide our. They had to hide us away. But same old place, same old. You know. So, and there's a big greyhound out there. I wonder if that was for um, up there. Makes me curious if it, if that greyhound was for those up there. 
but we will never know. It will be one of life's mysteries. Like in the back. Like it looks like at the start. But so far so good. Rooms are where they are. It should be interesting to see what kind of arts and crafts that vendor hall will have to offer. Of course, unfortunately, you can't film in the vendor hall, which is... Heh, I get it, like, privacy reasons. So I don't need to worry about that. There's a lot to plan, a lot to look forward to. A lot of... something. But well, we don't know what that something is. You know, this is actually starting to feel like a really, really, really slow vlog. Maybe it's just because I separated like negative one and zero into two separate videos. It's like, maybe that's why this is gonna feel like a really, really, really slow vlog. I don't know, but. I'm gonna take a break. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, Chloe tells me yeah, she's like, I have customer service at the airport. And she's scared of the camera. Are she you said, scared of that? What is that thing? See, what it looks like that thing. It won't hurt you. See? He says, yeah, no, not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go put my refrigerated stuff in my, back in the cooler in the uh, car since, who knows? Oh, I'm gonna take them to China. I don't know. Yeah. Oh dear. So, okay, do you need to put your stuff? No, I've got a cooler. My car okay. is right next to the elevator. Okay, so. well, if you change your mind. No, I didn't unpack know. the car. I grabbed this because I thought, okay, I'll just bring one back. It's a cute little bubble. Very nice. My mom got this for me for my birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> it was my birthday a few days ago. I remember that. But it's just, I think red card, and I don't think checkerboard nice. It's red. It's red. No, it doesn't work that way. Yes, it does. It's, 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 it's red. It's predominantly red. Leave me alone. No. Let I'm me have it. Hey. Well, it's like uh, you, you, you're a been here a while. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've been here I since. I know um, better than you. Been here do. since like uh, since noon. <laughs> yeah, I kind of arrived here almost around the same time, but room wasn't ready, so. Yeah, our room was ready by the time we got here, so... Uh, Later on Shirley Dinner at Cheesecake Factory. Uh, we're actually going to be eating at Cheesecake Factory in a little while. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, very full plane, new plane. They're back from Milan. So, I got the ticket, confirmation this morning. I get to the airport, new gate, new seat assignment, it's like... Okay. Huh? <laughs> same song, same song, but with different plane. Then we start boarding up, this way is shocked to the gills. I have this beautiful, lovely grandmother lady sit down next to me and put a piece of two hours down three Chardonnay. Oh no. What? She was singing that karaoke. <laughs> Kept repeating herself. Hi, Nora. Hi. And it was just generally like the biggest creepo grandma you have ever seen. <laughs> and I'm like, get me the hell off of this plane now! I'm done! I'm gonna go home! Forget the time! Why am I not doing this for another hour? It was like, that's I rough. That, that's rough. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, listen. You're just, at this point, you're just trying really hard to hold your tongue. It's, it's like, I don't want to be rude, but it's like, you, you can't go anywhere. I'm going to walk up and down an airliner that's full of great gold. So yeah, that was...
was Mac Wright. Um, I didn't lose anything yet, but well, my sanity, yeah. that was gone. That was pretty. Yeah, because you almost lost your backpack last year. See, almost lost your wallet. See, see, when you say yet, that opens up the possibility for any number of well, problems. Well, I don't have YouTube, so the, the uh, bar has lowered a lot. Guys, maybe we should move out of the way of the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, 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 we're not... We're, we're trying to get over here, yeah. man. Tori! I have. Hi, Tori! Tori, can I give you a hug? It's been a while since I've actually seen you. It's been a year! Oh, so good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. We're looking forward to the Jackbox tomorrow. Of course. I'm going to be there. Oh boy. I'm going to judge all of you silently. So you're going to be judging me, Red Card, and the rest of Step 2 Harmony. Yes. During well, I, I'm going to be accepting what they say. We're going to be judging you. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. So you, wait, 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 so you're gonna let whatever they say slide, but, 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 but not what we say. That's what friends do. <laughs> I'm now realizing no worthy is my biggest critic here. And mine. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, call me Eagle. <laughs> I'm Tommy Eagle. Tell Daddy Charlie what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't think we follow up to that. I don't. <laughs> I'm working on an input. Oh, oh, I, I am the unofficial spy for worthwhile events. Oh, ah. Yeah. I'm going to be getting all the dirt and the low down the info. And Charlie's going to ask, what do you do? It's like, you know me. Do you know me? Do you actually, do you actually know me? Do you actually really know me? You should know by this. I'm, I'm gonna make him enough for you can't refuse! <laughs> then look at how he messes with my boy! Look at what he did to my boy! My boy, man! Tell me about what you're doing! Tell me about what you're doing! Don't ever take sides against the family, Jerry! Hey! <laughs> ever! And no soup for you! <laughs> <laughs> can't forget about that. So, we, we are actually still here. Here um, Hey, you we were coming. That one point break last year? Thanks for the time of our children. Really? I don't know why. I I just think, well, I mean, you have a football team here that's gonna go by and all of a sudden everyone shows up on Thursday. And it's like uh, I'm about to watch it out of the Also, oh, hi. I did. I, I, I never said hi to you. <laughs> hey, Ferb. Oh, it's the Ferb and Ethan. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what was that? What? Never seen a fist pump before? I've been around a while. I know a few things. That that was. Yeah. Oh. Um. I Right, so I have the gear I need to record uh, from your laptop on the Jackbox panel. Nice. Um, it's going to be wild tomorrow. Oh, if it was anything like last year, I'm just putting a nice new whipped cream and cherry on top for this one. <laughs> and hope one of the prompts doesn't get dark. Uh, that was that was on Bolt last year. I mean, I mean, I mean, he went unnecessarily dark when yeah. when he really shouldn't have. So, so I mean, but you know, that was then. This is now. I had the family friendly filter on during the entire game, and Bolt didn't get the memo. No. I let him back on Pony Life. But Jack Fox, he's currently in a bit of a timeout. <laughs> I've got a decent surprise for you tomorrow. Oh. Few out, few cosplays I'm bringing out. Okay. One I'm gonna try for an entire weekend, and one for the gala. Okay. Cosplay race too. Okay. May get a like out of this first one here. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you, man. Good seeing you too, Ferb. <laughs> nice seeing you. That one is a good guy. Oh, oh. Yep. Yep. Hey, great to see you again, dude. Same here. I saw that, yeah. How are you? I'm so doing great. I'm so It is. Check this bad boy out. 
This is my brand new slug thrower for my Mandalorian. Something with a little extra firepower that'll pierce the armor of any enemy trooper. With a real scope. I know sea pony love. No, all you just need is a tag for it. Oh yeah, I'll get the piece. Yeah, I'll get a piece thing for it later. Looking good. I even got new artwork for the VIPs this year. I almost took this one, but there's like six of cameras like... It is here, but it's like, I feel like it's distracting. It's distracting. It is! It's like, no, I totally understand. Awesome, dude! Man, that's alright. I'm gonna have to I'm sorry. So it's a difficult one. Yeah. Number five for me is... Oh, and that's on my flight. Trade. Alright. Yeah, why don't I give you a preview of one of my two? Sorry to say. Look, I have a is he French or Chris? Yeah. Does you have any more of that charm? Um, no, I don't have any more of that charm. That char see, what I do is I will go instead of buying uh, sets of charms, I will go and buy keychains with multiple things on them, and then you take those apart and you use all the material. So then you have a keychain, you got a key ring, you got charms, you got maybe a lanyard if it comes with it, all kinds of fun stuff. It's a panda. It is a panda. There's one around here that is also a uh, a little bamboo shoot and a little shoot and a little stick of bamboo. Right there. Yep, right there. And then there's another one that goes with it. It says sad panda. That one right there. Oh, there's the chrysalis. The chrysalis and the fluffle fluff should be next to the server. Yeah. There's actually a YouTuber named Sad Panda. Is there really? Yes. yes. Oh my god! Sad Panda is Sad Panda. As soon as I... Which is hilarious. Almost so, instantly, like right here, I've been... There's like... There should be some flutters and fluttershy ones. What is that? Shiny armor? Shiny armor. All of these are really impressive. Thank you! So are the ones that they made me the last time. Yeah, I, I love making bracelets. I, I get a lot of joy out of it. They, they is safe in a bag in my room. Aww. And in a, a treasure box. Aww. Well, that is neat. Kira, stop punching me. Yeah, I had to make a Zakora one. I didn't have a lot of black to work with, obviously. I only had the two, but I was like... I gotta do it anyways. It's a camera! Would you be willing to watch myself while I go take a walk? Yeah, absolutely. I've been sitting down for you. Yeah, no problem. Leave me here. <laughs> How long did it take for you? Yeah, the button you? clicks. <laughs> that just makes it better. I would make bracelets every day, all day, for like three days. Then take a break for a month, then do it again. And it takes about, Lucky. on a good note, it takes 10 minutes from start to finish to get a bracelet done. It so you turns, can do about six an hour. It turns your eyes a lot. Um, yeah. Thankfully, Was it hard I to watch find TV at the same time, so when I'm like tying stuff together, I can just look at the TV and take Pan. breaks. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah my fun. eyes go crazy and then my brain tells me take a break, but my hyper focus says keep going. I think that sunny looks on point. Like all the colors are sunny. All, all the, you got the colors yeah. so, so But I couldn't take a full staff onto the plane, you know, because no, obviously. No, of course not. But I did bring half of it, so. <sighs> that goes in there. There. Ow. That's amazing! I'm so excited to give this to them. I'm, I'm going to do it when I go get their autograph tomorrow. Oh, that's so perfect. Is that Uh This is 3D printed, and then this is one. That is awesome. Like, that looks so good. Um, my friend made this for me, actually, so I have no idea. I could ask him, but, um, yeah. I mean, if it's 3D printed, it, obviously, the longest time is going to be the printing and then the painting, but it yeah. looks really good. And this was done in two separate pieces because the tail had to be kind of, yeah. like, put on, so I don't know how long it took, but... That's really good. It looks great. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm very excited to give this to them tomorrow. Oh, I bet. Because, um... Let's go with a minimum of 24 hours. <laughs> 
We can those do things it. take forever. But yeah, I really, really. Um, their name's Ob their name's Avi. Um, they're a non-binary uh, trans mask non person, and yeah. um, I'm also that. So it's Aww. very, it's like very. Oh my god, I feel so seen, you know. So. Yeah. I also drew them all as Excuse ponies. Where's Because the obvious here, which is Rain Whispers, the main character Luce's voice actress is here, and then Luce's mom's voice actress is also here. Mm -hmm. So I drew all of them as ponies. So that one's Avi. Aww. Oh my goodness. And then that one is ah. Luce's one. Kira. And then that one's Elizabeth. Your style is amazing. Yeah. Thank like, you. I am in love. Like when I draw ponies, I don't have my own style. I go canon as best as I can, and I love anybody who has their own pony happy? style because it's so unique and so I can. I try to mix my style in with other styles. You do really good. Thank it you. looks really good. It Thank looks you. unique. It looks like unique Kira. to you. Thank you. I mean, most definitely, I'm gonna be there for the Owl House panel. Oh, same, yeah. I, uh, Another matter. I brought my Rain Whispers cosplay. Um, let me show you a picture of that yeah. as well. Yeah. So I'm like I said, I'm complete. This is all Owl House. I'm completely perfect about the Owl House. So let's see where's that. Hey, at? from what I hear, it's really, really good. That's my Rain Whispers cosplay. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. It's really, really good. Um, I. It's one of those shows that I had the very fortunate experience to actually just start watch it from beginning to end. Oh, nice! Because usually I get into things like as they are ending, or after a year, a year after they ended. Yeah. I actually caught that at, as it began. That was so. me with Gravity Falls. Ow. Getting into Gravity Falls Ow. after it ended. So actually getting to like, experience monkey. that whole show from its beginning to end and watch it like grow and just it's magic. become what it was. It was it was incredibly wonderful. I think it was like almost full season of Gravity Falls to release until like. I sat down, watched the show, and then fell in love with it. It took me a little bit um, because I wasn't used to that kind of style and that kind of like animation, I guess, because like that was completely new for Disney to do. Yeah. But I ended up loving it, and I got to. I think I watched like I got back into it. Like, get my sunny and my easy. Yeah, that's nice. been killing. Like Gravity Falls is amazing. It is a great show. I. It was last year I started watching Owl House for first time. Just All I see is I, random things pop up on Facebook. I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's Owl House. Okay. Yay! Oh. I'm like that with a lot of um, with a lot of shows. Oh, yeah. We're having a bracelet. Nice. I don't have any. You want no, you one? Take them. Free. Yeah. There's a. Okay. You can pick a free bracelet. Okay, so this crazy so. Person, <laughs> this crazy person over here just makes them. Yeah. I, they I have like a lot of fun them. making them. Oh my god, the camera. Okay, you can have that one. I was wondering who was gonna take that one. We found who took that one. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready for a Taylor Swift concert? That's what this feels like. Oh my gosh, just said this. I know a friend. I'll pull out the flag again. Here we go. Hey, this is a no Taylor Swift weekend, man. Pulling out the flag. Oh my god. Wait, what? Isn't that beautiful? Iconic. No Without notes. tripping on everybody because you're tripping over the flag. Oh well, everybody's God. tripping over Taylor Swift. Mm. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good night. See, have a good, have a fun time at con. Kira. Kira. I knew bringing this would be a good idea. That was a really good idea. Truthfully, like, I am pretty anxious about the whole, like, getting in cosplay ordeal. Like, the whole like actually wearing it for the entirety of the weekend and then having to do it all over again for the gala, but with Spyro the Dragon. Oh, perfect guy. Hey. Eh. Me. Here we go. 11. Uh, you get a preview one. of my new lightsaber. This is a one that connects into a saber staff. Nice. Yeah, you'll get to see more of it tomorrow. All right, have a good evening. Enjoy. Bye. By the way, I had a nice uh, first day for the video. Yeah, like a lot of ordeal for cosplay and doing all of it for the gala. Just, there's a lot to consider when we're doing cosplay. 
I mean, I've done it before, but that was only like for one to two days at most, and then that'd be it. But an attempt in first time, we may try to do a full weekend of cosplay. Depends how well it all goes, depends how it'll land. It just depends. Now, I know it may not be, like, ideal time, because it is about... I actually bought my watch for once. Are you looking on that? It is about nearly 9.30. Like I said, two minutes fast. But it is nearly 9.30 right now. Normally, it would be midnight of 1 a.m. that I did the bed, but foreseen circumstances happen, and sometimes, well, it's actually kind of been one of those things that I was hoping to fix for a long time since 2017 and BronyCon, because, man, that's been... God, I don't know how long it's been since I last did BronyCon. Because I only went through 2017. I still have the Facebook memories. Six years. Six years. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe of, like, being an adult having your birthday fall during a convention and then it happening again this year but at a convention that you've attended for so many years and it's a pretty hefty toll on just how big I've gone in terms of these videos, the editing process, the, the perks of friends and cosplaying and try to film all the like, the teeny tiniest little moments that may get a chuckle from some people and post it online. And the fact that it's been going on for like this long, I mean, oh my. I'm just left speechless. Totally and utterly speechless. But I think that's really the best way some people can describe stuff. Speechless. Well, we've got today finished. That's the important part. We have one more day ahead of us, and we have at least tomorrow for Everfree Northwest, and look forward to that. Look forward to the cosplaying, look forward to everything in between. So, before I use this key to unlock this door, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you tomorrow.